wow, my dad and my parents were giving twenty dollars a week, and that was happening. So uh, beyond that, it was it was just, uh, you know overwhelming. Uh, when the money started coming in. Right. Yeah. Exactly. When the money started coming in. Yeah. How do you control that? And, and and think about saving or spending or and that aspect of, of you know controlling it. Because I mean, a lot of times parents don't give their you know, their children that that you know added um, independence from the beginning, yeah. in the early ages, and they have no idea how to manage money. Actually, uh, here it's it's. Um, at, the, at, at this part of the discussion, I'm very grateful that I was kind of my, my high school years were in New York, New York City, where most families live hand to mouth. So we don't have disposable income like we do in the South. Like here, life is very cheap. So generally, people are better off. And if you think you're not well off, go to New York. You'll see what, I'm th what I mean, right? When the entire family is working, and they're working 40 hours, even if they're in high school. Like I worked 40 hours throughout high school. And that was just, my, you know, my siblings work too. It's just a norm, you know? But one of the benefits of that was, it made us responsible with and appreciate hard-earned money. It makes you responsible in life. A lot of our youth, they haven't actually ever felt the need to take responsibility. They've never felt that need. They say, if I screw up, you know, I, I, you got a job at the Apple store, or you got a job at the mall, or you got a job somewhere, you know, you, you're helping out at high, high school or whatever, some extra money's coming in, but even that you won't take very seriously, because even if that doesn't go, if that goes away, well, you still got mom and dad. They'll take care of you. They'll take, you know, or, you know they'll, they'll spot you or whatever. My dad, early on, one of the biggest favors he did to me, said, you're going to pay your own college tuition. Get it through your head. I said, okay. And I, you know, and... For the brothers, at least take it like a man and say, yeah, okay, I'll do it, I'll do it. And so from high school on, I was thinking like an adult. Like this is how I'm going to budget my money, this is where I'm going to go to college because I can afford to go here, this is how I'm going to manage my time. And uh, you know, uh, uh, this aspect of life, we're not giving our children. And we have to. They have to, if, if your kids are teens, a, a healthy thing for them is to get a job. It's healthy. It's not about the money. It's really not. And you have to make them responsible in you know, chores in the house and things like that. And this is, goes for brothers and for sisters. Get a job at the library. Get a job at the local, volunteer at the local hospital. So hospital, if you don't want to get a job, volunteer. Be part of the community center locally, something. But you have to be involved in something like that. It builds responsibility. So when you do run into money, you know, how, you respect it. That it, it, it doesn't just you know, uh, uh, come, come out of trees. A lot of people have careers now and even they don't take their career seriously because you know what, in the back of their head, if this goes, at least I can move back mo with mom and dad again. You know, they're, they're, in the back of their head, they're still on vacation. The time for vacation, you have to become independent. You really have to become independent. And you have to think like that and you have to think responsibly, right? As far as, you know, uh, um, the money coming in is concerned, Muslims should have, in my opinion, the, you know, the idea of we should, be, uh, we should ward dunya away and we should be people of akhirah is true. At the same time, Muslims, we shouldn't, uh, we shouldn't have love of dunya, but I tell you, we should be the highest paid people in the country. Muslims should have the highest salaries. We should have the most successful businesses. And not because we want money, but we can pour that money into Islamic work. We can build infrastructure for future generations. We can't do that if we have nothing to work with. You follow what I'm saying? And the real strength of our times, the real power in our times is economic power. That's what real power is. You can have military power, or you can have economic power, and let me tell you, most of the time, economic forces even drive military forces. Right? Economics is the, is the currency of power now. Right? So we have to be empowered like that. But we have to maintain the balance that even if we are making loads of money, that our goal in life is not the money. The purpose is not that we make the money. The, 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 the income we're generating is for a higher purpose. It does something more with life, you know? So, and for this reason, we have to kind of balance the, the idea of good you know, entrepreneurial careers and businesses with, inshallah this, this, this giving spirit. Mm -hmm. Bismillah. Right, well, here's the coming and then it's been a pleasure. Yeah, kum, alhamdulillah. My pleasure. يا إخوتي هيا نمضي سويا يا إخوتي هيا نمضي سويا يا إخوتي هيا نمضي سويا يا إخوتي هيا نمضي سويا